assalamu alaikum hello guys today i will show you how to analyze this uh, beam in e -taps. okay it's a fixed beam so um, uh, for the purpose of checking we shall check that uh, whether it have is uh, it have results right well or not okay uh, after manual calculation we shall check it with e tab okay so let's model this frame in e tab and uh, um, find out the reaction at b and c and thereby um, the shear force and bending moment of this beam okay so let's start it since the unit is metric unit so metric si we are seeing that there is two span okay each one is 10 meter so three grids spacing 10 meter 10 meter okay you see that in x direction 10 meter and 10 meter to span is created okay also x y direction let us convert this view in elevation view elevation at a or one you select you can select either one okay select two now define section P1 300 millimeter one is 300 millimeter and then 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter Okay, 100 millimeter by 300 millimeter. You don't have to modify this because we are just going to analyze. We are not going to design it. Okay, we just want to uh, see the force effects. Uh, that is bending moment and shear force. Okay. You are seeing that this one is I and this one is 3I. That is, uh, now, if we, for uh, for the uh, con con convenience of analyze, uh, analyze, analysis, okay, we shall consider circular cross, um, sorry, square cross section. Square cross section, okay. So, if one diamond, <coughs> If the dimension of this beam becomes 300 millimeter, so this one will be um, root over um, um, fourth root of three, since the coefficient of i is three, so the fourth root of three times 300. Okay, uh, that comes out to be 394.82 uh, millimeter. So add a copy of property of it is B2. Assign the name of it as B2. 394.82 millimeter. Three hundred 
150 and then I type 394 182 and then I type 394 182 and then return okay just okay now click this one okay frame and cross section this one is 300 millimeter and another one is 394 this one is 300 million 394 millimeter okay now there is a fixed support we shall assign fixed support to this to this point to the joint so go to assign joint restraints fixed okay and uh, this one is roller okay this one and this one this joint and this joint is roller support so let us assign roller roller support and restraint so you see that is z direction okay so we have to restrain it in z direction so restraints in z direction apply Roller support is assigned. Okay. Now you see that in the first span there is a uniform distributed load of 16 kilonewton per meter. Okay. And in the second span there is a concentrated load of point load of 16 kilonewton at the mid span. So let's assign it. First select this frame assign frame loads distributed sixty kilonewton kilo newton per meter so assign sixteen kilonewton per meter in the direction of gravity okay as live load apply now select this frame and assign Mm. and five since in the, at the midpoint so relative distance is 0 and 5 okay 0 and 5 mm. 0 0 16 concentrated load and we should make it 0 okay load assignment concentrated load so this is trapezoidal load close assign frame loads point okay live load so make it zero hit zero make it zero the zero point five relative distance there is a six kilonewton okay now press apply you see 16 kilonewton of concentrated load is assigned now your modeling is okay now just go to analyze and run analysis set a name Click save. Now click this window and to see the reactions, click on this icon and change load case to live load. Okay. We would like to see the vertical reaction so exit supply. It's 2.15 kilonewton and 93.39 kilonewton. Okay, so our analysis is done, and if you would like to see the movement diagram then you have to uh, click on this frame on this on this icon okay which is display 
frame process m3 okay this is the um, apply see now go to this options moment diagrams on compression side okay this is positive moment this is negative this is negative moment you can check the shear force and bending moment too and axial load too okay no axial load Uh, you can check the moment at a different section you can also check the maximum moment maximum moment is at the support that is minus 149.1963 kN meter and shear force is minus 84.651 kN now if you would like to uh, design it you can uh, by using this movement you can determine the shape of the beam size you can check my other videos how you can uh, determine the shape of a beam the size of a beam uh, for a given factor load okay I will give the link of that video in my description Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please like, share and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Oh, another one I would like to see. I would like to show you that why M3 uh, is the main moment. Uh, let's show you the material. Uh, sorry. Define section frame section. Select modify show property so this is the m3 okay you know that about this moment about this uh, about the three axis we the main rotation of the beam occurs so this is the main moment okay okay m3 it, that's why we call it m3 3 moment which is the major moment Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.